Hey everyone, Luke here with your Television Tuesday video post. I'm really excited about today's show. It's one that I can watch over and over and never get tired of the laughs, the pranks, and everything it throws at you. Today's television show is The Office. Okay, I feel like I should start off by saying that I know the US version of The Office is technically a ripoff of the UK version since most of the US characters are based on the UK characters, but I've tried to watch the UK version, and I just can't. Uh, maybe it's because I don't get the jokes, uh, but I, I really feel that it's more that it, there wasn't the cohesion amongst the characters like in the US version. I really tried to watch the UK series. I just couldn't get into it. I was literally bored within the first five minutes of the first episode. So obviously The Office is an adaptation of the original BBC series of the same name. And the series the, depicts the everyday lives of office employees and the Scranton branch of the fictional Dunder Mifflin Paper Company. Even though the show is considered a sitcom, The Office was filmed to simulate the look of an actual documentary so it was filmed in a single camera setup without a studio audience or a laugh track. Let's be honest, most situational comedies don't receive the pleasure of having a run like The Office did. Yeah, some of the classics like Seinfeld and Friends made it just as far, but a show like The Office seemed unfathomable at the time, especially since the premise was simply revolving around coworkers and their office jobs. Sure, it could be a funny premise, but it takes a lot of effort to not only balance comedy and drama, but also creating story arcs for the characters that will eventually come full circle after nine years. What makes The Office unique is that it takes situational comedy and mocks it by creating a series that's completely self-aware of the outside world. They are very well aware that they are being filmed, obviously because it's a documentary, uh, over the course of the series, and that leads to the overarching storyline that comes to a totally satisfying conclusion. But the real props needs to be given to the actors and actresses that gave their all each and every season. The Office is definitely, without a doubt, one of the best shows I've ever watched. There is such a great balance between the gut-busting pranks and the emotional storylines. The Office has that sense of being down to earth right from the very beginning, so there are certain moments of realism that simply can't go unnoticed. From couples having issues that you're rooting for them to get past, to the office clown showing sadness when they had to say goodbye, to the show itself that utilized every important aspect of the entire series to wrap everything up with a nice bow. You can clearly see that the writers cared about the characters, so in turn, that makes you care about them too. Thank you so much for tuning in this week. If you saw The Office, even if you saw the original UK version and you loved it, I'd love to know what you thought. Leave a comment down below, call or text me, I'd love to hear from you. Next Television Tuesday, friends. Until next time, have a good one.